does a church have the right to tell an autistic child they don't want him there? What a loaded question. That wasn't the question at all that I saw on the news today. The question was, does any person, autistic or not, have the right to be threatening in a church? The accusations against the autistic child, if you will, he does not look like a child. He's a very large person at 6'2 or 6'3, 200 and something pounds, more like a football player or a basketball player, looming, not quite threatening, but certainly intimidating just to look at. But that's not the issue, is it? The accusations against him were urination, threatening, physical violence against at least one child, spitting in church. Now, if a person who wasn't autistic did these things, we would say, perhaps that person doesn't need to be here. What's happened, of course, is that they've pulled the sympathy strings and said, because a person is autistic, they need to be able to get away with things. The mother said, if you don't allow a person to worship God, then you've treated them like an animal. That would be true. But there are two points here. First of all, the person is already acting like an animal by doing those things. If you simply say it's okay because he's autistic, you're allowing a person to have animal behavior, but at the same time you're claiming rights over and above the other parishioners. Have they no rights? Are their rights preempted because of a person's need to urinate, hit, or do otherwise? Let's not forget he's autistic. Let's bring that into the equation. First of all, that makes it more dangerous. I know two people who teach autistic children, and they have been in an educational facility, not facility like a jail, just a school where they go, and the autistic children go home afterwards. They've been attacked on a number of occasions. Are they hurt? Yes, they are. They're trained also to, teach, uh, to deal with autistic children. Now, in a church, people are not trained to deal with autistic children. Should this church take training? I have news for you. There is no training which can prepare you for autistic violence. They don't really even understand what they're doing. In a way, they almost do act like an animal because they don't reason that they've done anything wrong. Again, not to call him an animal. But let's look at the facts. The church has suggested and offered a number of alternatives, such as, we'll teach you at home separately. We'll come to you. We'll get you a separate, separate room where the autistic child could go and either have streaming video or one-on-one. -on -one. They've even suggested counseling. Remember, we have to hear the whole story. If we only hear the part about the poor autistic child doesn't get to go to church, that's not true. Because the outcome is the family found another church to go to. So what is the actual problem here? What is there to sue about or to scream about? Nothing. Autistic rights, if you will, would be very sketchy. Because autism itself takes on, scratch, scratch, different details. This particular autistic child has a violent tendency and is too large to manage by your average person. He was given alternatives in a very nice way, it appears. The family showed up to church after there was an injunction not to. They were escorted out and now police have to be stationed at the church in order to keep the peace because the family is the one pushing the issue. Now, who is really to blame here? A church which has offered all sorts of ideas for the mother of the autistic child and for the autistic child? A church which is trying to protect the rights of everybody to worship? Should they say, well, we'll have a church for the autistic child. Whoever wants to show up can, and the rest, I guess, will just have to be willing to lose. How fair is that? Another church has offered to take up the slack. I guess we'll see how that works out, won't we? 